Okay, so be careful what you wish for. I've been trying to do a reason to do a video besides showing off the fact that I lost about three pounds of hair. <sighs> yeah. We just lost Dorothy Fontana today, apparently. Uh, yeah. Age of 80 years old. And we, well, we're, yeah, we're getting to that point. We're, we're going to start losing her faster and faster, unfortunately. But, yeah. but she was, uh, I guess, in a way, kind of Star Trek's guardian angel for a lot of years there. And definitely one of the best writers out of the yeah. original show. So I look at that Star Trek.com, so I'll get you right here. Yeah. And it's it's short on this, so I'll just. Take it on. Said, check this way peacefully. Yeah. And she pretty much wrote the book on Vulcan culture for the most part. And also, she was, she was pretty much a showrunner for the animated series. Gene was an executive consultant, but she was the producer. I like the way he thinks. And. It's also figured that she was probably the one who did the final rewrite on uh, Sitting on the Edge of Forever. Because a few little things in there kind of speak a little too much of Dorothy's touch. You know, she you know, also knew better than to take any credit for it. Yeah, that's one of the things that showed up at this particular time. And she you know, did quite a wide range of credit. It wasn't just Star yeah. She also worked for the Waltons, Bonanza, Babylon 5, Six Million Dollar Man. And she was nominated for a Writers Guild Award for uh, episode 2% of nothing for her. Then came Bronson. Short enough show back in the 70s. And she the most recently worked as a senior lecturer at the American Film Institute. And other ones in Brooklyn News. Kind of a little bit of a thing about when they first made her do the DC font. Because you already. She already sold some stories. I'm the name Dorothy Catherine Fontana. But there's no we got this home. With Star Trek, it was DC Fontana from that point on. So, once you survived by her husband, uh, the Oscar winning visual effects cinematographer Dennis Skotak. And the family wishes for Memorial the Russian Society and Humane Society, Best Friends Animal Society, and uh, the American Film Institute. You'll make sure of that. And I might think of another reason to do a video later. I was like, about going about, you know, say, the Black Widow trailer. It looks great. It should have happened a long time ago. And a few other things, but this was kind of taking the thing, so it's going to do this one as its own thing. Yeah. <sighs> PayPal, Patreon down below, my own GoFundMe down below. It is Giving Tuesday, so. And the. P.O. Box, uh, four zero, Captain Robert Diggle, 4046 North Golden Rod Road, number 105, Winter Park, Florida, 32792, and hopefully something a little more upbeat next time here. Catch you later.